gonna switch over to Alright, you guys are on. Alright, move. Welcome to the show, you guys. I know what you're wondering. Who the hell are these assholes sitting in the EG chair? So, as you may know or may not know, EG is out of the office all day. And uh, so what we decided thank to God. do was, yeah, thank God, finally for once, that uh, the behind the scenes guys would take over the show. And since uh, all of us are specialists in movies, that we would just talk about movies and have you guys call in. I'm going to give you a brief description of what I did. Uh, 19, I turned into, I was a photographer. My name is Chachi. I am the lead producer for the GGL. So I do stuff like Up All Night. I do uh, like EG versus Sticky Cam. I made my first movie when I was 23. I made another one when I was 25. Made a larger, I made a movie with Sean Patrick Flannery and Michael Bean. Um, I've probably done maybe 150, 200 photo shoots and I'm, you know, I'm a production guy. I'm not a huge gamer. Um, but so today what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about movies all day. So before we get into anything, let me introduce who we've got sitting with us right now. We have Muka over on production. Yes, he is a panda bear. He studied media arts at the San Diego County Zoo. He worked with uh, Clyde from Clint Eastwood's Every Which Way But Loose. And uh, he's worked with Flipper the Dolphin, Garfield, and most recently he was uh, Nemo's acting coach. Um, he got most of his editing skills from uh, Old Yeller. So Muka also is uh, our lead editor here at the GGL, and he uh, busts his ass to bring you great stuff. Moving on, we've got Tyler over on Stick of Moderation. And uh, Tyler did printing for a long time before he got here. Uh, he came into the GGL as an intern and has been moving his way up. Tyler, yeah. anything to say? I'm really tired and very embarrassed to be here. Yes. That's about as, it. As we all are very embarrassed <laughs> to be here. So uh, he aspires to be a producer-director type. And uh, at the very end, we have Mr. Kuno-chan, which many of you have probably met and know. Eric did go to film school but dropped out to study medieval Icelandic literature. And now he's using that degree to make fun of Jack Thompson. So uh, that's what he's doing. Several chicks say that he is large. He's 6'4", so uh, that's, that's the only way I'm going to take that. So what we're going to do before we start anything is we're going to show you two trailers of movies that Don and myself have worked on. We're gonna start with The Insatiable, which is a movie I made two years ago. You can get it at Blockbuster, Netflix, Amazon, so you guys can check it out and then uh, see what you think. Meet Harry Balbo, just an ordinary guy with an average life. This new girlfriend I got, she's killing me. She got a sister. <laughs> Until. I did you a favor, Mr. Balbo. If the media caught wind of you claiming you saw a vampire, they would turn your world into a circus. Three pages of coverage. No mention of you. I'm the one that called the cops. I'm the one that called the cops. Was she hot? Amazingly. Wild. Almost feral. How do I find her? Geographic profiling. It's a computer model created to track serial killers complex algorithm designed to map the most likely area of an unidentified killer's dwelling place. Well, how does this apply to vampires? I mean, well, what are vampires? They're serial killers. They prey on human beings. They only hunt in areas where they feel safe, the same way serial killers do. I have a plan. No, you're lonely, Harry. No, you want someone. Don't you want me, Harry? I'm yours. You go back to wherever it is you got that bitch stashed, and you finish what you started. Well, that's a movie I made two years ago. It was $370,000 to produce it. I, I was at the first meeting where we sat down and talked about, you know, read the script, talked to the writers, directors, and pretty much sat from beginning to end, from pre to post, until the thing was done. It was a complete nightmare. I made about $1.17 an hour while I made that movie. And uh, 
it was a complete pain in the ass. Really great learning experience, but uh, you know, would I want to do it again? Sure, because I'm a psycho, but uh, you know, production's great. I mean, have, you haven't seen the movie. I haven't seen it yet. And I've, I've given it to you. You gave me, it to me as a BitTorrent, yeah. Yeah, and you can download it on, it, it's a BitTorrent download, so I don't care if you go and download it. Um, we're going to show you another trailer. Don, can you uh, bring up the Reaper, your movie? Gas lines cut. Anyone home? There's rotting flesh back there, right? See the dying people. Ah! I saw a trucker, half a trucker. Something in the air. That's the smell. Death. The man, he, he, he did the visual effects, he had rotoscoping on that movie you just saw. Tell us something about it. <laughs> oh, there I am. <laughs> I worked on it like, uh, uh, maybe like two years ago. Still like six months working on it, and uh, it's pretty crazy. I, mean, I want to talk into the mic. The mic? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the mic. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, me again! This thing right here, the mic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I worked on it like uh, maybe like three years ago. Um, yeah, so I did some visual effects shots on it. Um, it actually got released on, it was, got a theatrical release in every country, I think in the world, um, except for the US, which I think it was uh, released on Showtime, and it was uh, just on in demand, I think, on Showtime, but I don't know if it's still playing, so look for it, I guess, in video stores. So, well, what yeah. it, why don't you tell everybody who doesn't know what rotoscoping is, what rotoscoping is all about? Rotoscoping is like when you, um... Real quick, I hate to interrupt, but... Uh, I think there's a buzz going on. You may want to turn some stuff down, fix yeah. it. I don't know. Where's the buzz coming from? I'm pretty sure it's from the clip. It's that fixed. Is. Ah, is it, now? Is it gone? All right. Continue. Fabulous. All right, sweet. Rotoscoping, what's it all about? Uh, rotoscoping is fun. It's a very laborious process where you, um, like for special effects, you have to isolate parts of the picture. So you just basically have to mat out um, parts of the picture for like um, setting, uh, for like matting and stuff. Um, I don't, I'm not really good at explaining it. It's really laborious. And it's like boring. photo. It's like cutting people out of frame by frame. It's like photoshopping. Like you have to rotoscope somebody. You have to imagine there's 24 frames. Every single frame somebody's moving, you have to cut them out of every single frame. Is that pretty much what it is? I uh, yeah 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 pretty much that's what it is. So it's basically a monstrosity mega pain in the fucking ass to do. I would never want to do it. I could never do it. Um, so just to kind of tell you where the show's gonna go. We're going to have some news of the week about movies. We're going to only talk about movies. Well, we're going to talk about StarCraft 2 because there's StarCraft yes, 2 we're, news. We're going, to start, we're going to talk about StarCraft news, but we're going, to, we're going to push that off just a little bit later into the show. We're also going to do, so we're going to do some news, then we're going to open the phones Exclusive up. So StarCraft news. <laughs> we'll open the show. We'll open the calls up. We'll take calls from people who want to ask us questions about maybe if you're interested in making a movie, if you have questions Don't about be. how things get done for movies. You know, pretty much anything. If you call about something gaming, I think Don's probably going to can you because this is epileptic movie. Yeah, we don't show. like it. Nothing about video games, please. Yeah, except StarCraft news, which we will get into in a little bit. We're also going to do top fives. So, top five things, top five movies we'd want to be stuck on a desert with. What else are we doing? Top five movies we would want to be stuck on a desert island with. That's it. And then? Uh, I don't know. We're doing our top uh, five girls. Yeah, the hottest actresses. Hottest actresses of 2007. Ah! Uh, we're also going to do... Coolest see, characters of coolest 2007. Coolest characters that come out of 2007. They do not have to be from movies, just characters in general. And then the best movies. And then the best movies of 2007, right. which I think I am making some really bad choices on. But, uh, you know, what the hell. 